Hey everybody, it's Deanna here with your Goddess Guidance for June of 2021. I am so happy you're here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you never miss any videos on how to trust and love yourself. And if you're new to my community, this is where I pull a card for every single week of the month, give my intuitive interpretation, and I encourage you to get a sheet of paper out and a pen and pause the video as you go through each of the cards because this is a very intuitive community and I'm sure that you have your own insights. I'm also gonna give you two dates um, to just watch out for as we kick off the month. But first, let's talk about the theme. So the theme for June is about compassion. So where do you need to have more compassion for yourself and other people? We're in the midst of Mercury retrograde all month, which means it's a great time to review old relationships, um, reevaluate your belief systems and your priorities, and really refine and improve any systems in your life, in your career that are not working optimally. So it's a good time to declutter and to you know, reorganize your life, simplify your life, streamline your relationships, and enjoy some quiet downtown reflection. So for week one, I love that we pulled this card. So it's about focused intention. What do you want to focus on? The universe is asking you to decide, and we've got the goddess Diana with her bow and arrow, which is about intentionality, direction. If you've been looking for direction, just pick one. You'll know if it's the wrong direction by how you feel inside, and then you can course correct, but the universe is not gonna make the decision for you in this first week. So also see the big picture, right? But don't get so caught up in the big picture that you lose sight of just the next right action. So what's one step that you can take in your relationships right now to improve it. Maybe it's to have a conversation you've been putting off. Maybe it's to, um, you know, to forgive yourself for something. It could be very simple, but just that micro step that's going to move the energy forward. Then in week two, we come to a new moon in Gemini on June 10th, and everything's been leading up eclipse season. We had the first eclipse on May 26th, the full moon and now the solar eclipse in Gemini on June 10th, which is all about refining your communication, really updating your um, sense of community. So if you've been feeling lonely, it may be time to get out there. And if you're single, it's a great time to put yourself out there in different ways. So if you said, I'm never doing online dating again, this might be the week that kicks off a new decision and then you meet somebody at the grocery store perhaps. <laughs> and the card for the second week is White Tara, sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So you may wanna do a detox in this second week. The new moon may highlight areas where you've just put too much toxic thought into your system, toxic foods, anything that is creating disruption and disharmony, you'll get to see front and center. Then we get to week three, goddess vast independence. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So if you've been just wanting to try something new, the universe is backing you in thousand percent, saying you're not gonna know all the answers, but be honest with yourself. I'm just drawn to the center of her chest here. It's about vulnerability and that there's strength in vulnerability and showing people who you are and just declaring unapologetically what you want. Hey, Bella. And then we come to week four. So we have a full moon in Capricorn on June 24th. This is going to highlight, as far as relationships go, whether you're single or attached, your uh, commitments. So what's your level of commitment? What's the other person's level of commitment? Does it need to be renegotiated? Um, you know, the universe is really going to be asking all of us in that fourth week to decide once and for all, what is going to take you through the long haul? What are you going to stop tolerating? What are you going to start like being open to receive? And really putting your foot down and trimming the fat off anything that takes you away from that. So the last, let's see, the card for that one 
is Sedna, Infinite Supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So if you've been falling into lack mentality, there's not enough, it's too late for me, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 negative self-talk, this is the week you can turn it around and say, all right, where do I need to stand up for myself, within myself, right, and stop being the victim and really trust that there's more than enough for everybody, including me. And then as a bonus card, I pulled Green Tara. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So as the month wraps up, this is an invitation to kick back a little bit, to see all of the uh, fruits of your labor, your decisions, right? All the work that you've done on yourself. You may leave June feeling much lighter, much more satisfied with the relationships that are still in your life, the ones that fell off or supposed to fall off, and you may have a sense of relief. But the delegation is about really knowing that there is support all around you, that the belief that you have to do everything yourself doesn't get you to where you want to go. And so it requires an extra layer of authenticity, an extra layer of vulnerability, but that people in the universe really do want to help you. So it's a, by the end of the month, you may see, wow, these are the people that really are my ride or die folks, or these are the people that, you know, just fell away and I feel relieved. Or this is where I need to hire support. If you're in business for yourself, you may hire support. Or you may hire um, somebody to help you with your house so that you have more time, like a cleaner, um, to help free up your time. Or in relationships, you may hire, hire a therapist or a coach or a healer or something. But there is a growing self-awareness, right, of where you need to back up yourself and where going at it by yourself is not good enough. Like it's just not working. It's not getting you to where you want to be. And that bringing in that support, however it comes, is going to amplify your energy, help you show up more authentically and be more, more magnetic to the things that you really desire. And let's just do a recap, okay? So the month starts out asking you to focus, even though you may feel very unfocused. Just decide. Pick something. See where the breadcrumbs take you. Shed the toxic shiz and as you shed you feel the power of your strength your inner strength there may be insecurities that come up there may be fears that come up but as they come up right know that there is more than enough of everything for everybody including you and that you don't have to do it all yourself and most importantly, have compassion. Have compassion for your path. Have compassion for all the things that maybe haven't manifested yet that you thought would. If you've been going into comparison energy, it's time to really release that and really focus on all of the things that are changing in your life because everybody's going through a transformation right now. And it's all in how you carry yourself through that transformation. It's not that it always feels comfortable. Most of the time it isn't. But who you become in the process is what counts. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I created a new ebook. Have you guys gotten it yet? It's seven things that could be blocking your heart's desire. You can go ahead and grab it for free on the website, dianadurrell.com. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for being here.